Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you today how to jailbreak the 3.1.3 iPhone operating system for the iPod Touch 1st generation, iPod Touch 2nd generation, non-MC model, iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, and iPhone 3GS, non-MC model. Now for a side note for iPhone 3GS owners, I would not recommend doing this jailbreak for the 3.1.3 I would recommend just going back down to the 3.1.2 and using a jailbreak for the 3.1.2 because you need to have your SH, SH hashes backed up which is a very somewhat confusing process for people who don't know what jailbreaking is you can do that via Cydia um, and for people that use an unlock for their iPhone I would also not recommend doing this because unlocks right now are very unstable with the 3.1.3 because if doing this you may uh, rupture a problem where you will not be able to restore back to the 3.1.2 or even get it unlock for like forever that's what the dev team gives a warning to so i would readily recommend for this ipod touch 1g ipod touch 2g non mc model iphone 2g and iphone 3g and excluding if you want to unlock so i just recommend doing this for a jailbreak no unlock and unlock if you don't know what that is is a carrier um unlock where you can use other carriers instead of the default carrier that apple only allows in your area so let's get back into this tutorial okay guys so first you're going to need to download the ponage tool for your mac um what link will be in the description i have uploaded it it is a safe download and once you guys get it you'll get a DMG, you just um, mount the DMG and here's the file you'll get. You also want to find your 3.1.3 IPSW. The most common place people find their IPSW is in the library of their hard drive, then iTunes, and then right here will be their iPod backups and stuff like that. Um, I currently don't have mine on there, so I had to download one. Download link will be in the description for iPod and iPhone firmwares. And so let's get into the tutorial, okay guys? So I'm going to open up the Ponage tool. And you'll get this warning saying it is a dev team. Phone 2G owner, do you want to choose this one for iPod Touch for 1G and 2G owners? Do you want to choose this one? iPod Touch third generation is not supported within this jailbreak. And iPhone 3GS owners, I do not recommend using an iPhone 3GS for this jailbreak, but you guys. can make a choice and be a daredevil. Um, I recommend going in expert mode just because more control over what you can do. So I'm going to choose the iPod Touch second generation because that's what I will be jailbreaking with. And you're going to click the little check and you'll click the little blue arrow. Um, it will find your IPSW here. I'm going to let it browse. And there it is right there. 3.1.3 IPSW. If you do not, if it does not find it, uh, you can click right here and browse for the IPSW. Please make sure you're in ex expert mode if you're going to be browsing for the IPSW. If you will probably get 3.1.2 um, iPhone OS IPSW, you probably want to choose your 3.1.3 IPSW. So I'm going to select it and click the little blue arrow. Okay, guys. So now you'll get this um, little option. You want to just click General and click the little blue arrow. Uh, just click next next you can ignore all this stuff guys you can ignore it now if you want a custom boot logo you want to select this and select that recovery logo you can choose your real own recovery logo make sure it's 320 by 40 if you don't know what this is just uncheck these and you don't even need to worry about it. i'm going to uncheck them because it doesn't really matter to me and i'm going to click click build and it will ask you where to save it i'm just going to save it on my desktop and you click save and it will be the build the IPSW. Okay guys, so the Ponage tool has finished creating the IPSW and you'll get this promising that it is um, completed and it is successful. You'll just click OK and it will just say I have success. Um, if it failed, it will say another one. It will say, it'll have something else. It will say failed or something like that. So now you can close the Ponage tool and wherever you told to save that new um, jailbroken IPSW, you're going to have it right. Here's mine right here. This is the new jailbroken IPSW. Um, so next you're going to have your iPod Touch or iPhone connected to iTunes and open it up. Here is mine right here iTunes right here and you're going to want to hold option on your keyboard and restore and you're going to select that IPSW you just used the jailbreak and you'll click choose and after that guys you'll have a jailbroken 3.1.3 
iPhone or iPod Touch. And guys, please rate five stars and post questions down below. Um, so as I mentioned before, this is for the iPod Touch 1G, iPod Touch 2G, non-MC model, iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, and iPhone 3GS. This will work for the iPhone 3GS, I just do not recommend it. I recommend staying on the 3.1.2 and jailbreaking on that. Um, so if you guys have any questions, post below and post in our forum at forum.iphonehealthsupport.com. So hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and peace out, guys.